All right, good morning, class. All right, so imagine you're down three. No, you're down two with three seconds left, and it's your shot good enough to make the game winning shot to send us home. Let's go see. So in order to shoot a basketball, it's, it's kind of easy, but it's kind of hard. It's, it's reps. It's reps in the shot. It's practice, practice, practice to make your shot better. But it's more to it. So people think it's just one step. You just get it and shoot the ball. It's more to it. First step. It's having the right stance to shoot the ball. Feet have to be shoulder width apart. Right stance and your shooting hand. Is, well, I'm left-handed, but I shoot with my right hand. So my right foot is going to be in the front of my non-shooting foot. Now, bending your knees is the most important part to shooting because it gets you off the ground to make the shot go in. So it's, if you don't bend your knees, a 25% chance that the shot is not going to go in because you need to jump. Now, most basketball players don't know this, but to shooting and to making it, people call it the dead eye, right eye. So you shoot from your right eye on top of your right eye, the ball is going to go in there at time. Most people shoot from the front of their face, but real people know to shoot from your right eye because it's a 99% chance the shot's going to go in. And when you and also when you're shooting, you, you be on your... Um, Tiptoes, so you bend down, jump all your tiptoes. And finally, the release form is the most important part of shooting the basketball. Release is a is what everybody wants to do, because everybody releases different. It's flat or is is an art. But also, fingertips is the really most. If you don't use your fingertips while shooting the ball, your ball your ball is not going to go in the hoop. But Fingertips help the batspin go batspin with the basketball, and that's how you properly shoot the basketball. And I'm um, finished. Thank you.